What's up, everybody? Crazed back again, and today I got some news for you, some really awesome news. I didn't expect this. This is crazy. Um, you guys might have already heard about this already, uh, especially if you're a follower of, like, Duquesne or uh, anybody like that who's just uh, who loves forging stuff. This is incredible, and I just want to make sure as many people know about it as possible. What 343 is doing is going to do a transfer. It's a one-time transfer of all Forge maps in your file share and game types in your file share. But they have to be in your file share. That is something very important that you gotta understand. Now they are increasing your file share amount. I'm not exactly sure how much, but just so you can get as many as you possibly can in there, because it's just going to be a one-time thing. They don't have a date as yet as to when they're going to do it. So I definitely recommend doing it as soon as possible. Get on there and upload stuff to your file share. Um, maybe, maybe at some point in the future they might bring back uh, some of your old film clips and stuff like that. But that hasn't been announced yet or anything. Uh, they said it's been extremely difficult to do that. But... Just think about this, guys. All your old maps that you created, you spent hours taking the time to make and perfect in Halo Reach, Halo 3, Halo 4. All of those maps are going to be transferred over, provided they're in your file share, of course. If they're on your ex they're your local account or local uh, Xbox, that's not going to help you at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so that kind of sucks. But they're giving you fair warning. Um, that it's going to happen. It's going to be pretty kind of cool because uh, I've created some things in the past that I really loved and enjoyed and uh, some friends of mine really uh, enjoyed as well and I just really did not feel like recreating them and going through all that mess. Um, but yeah, this should be pretty kind of cool uh, that we can do this and and 343 is really going out of their way to make MCC a true experience but you got to do this if you got that those old maps you got to take that time and do it now uh, otherwise you're probably going to miss out um, I'm sure they're going to try and give as fair warning as to when it's going to happen as they can uh, and once they start the upload or the transfer sorry dude I, I totally didn't mean that I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> maybe maybe a little bit I don't know <laughs> but <laughs> I mean just think about that I'm um, Oh, I guess he, he just didn't want to live anymore. Oh, you got to love the gameplay sometimes. <laughs> oh, I think one of my favorite maps I ever created was actually... Uh, it was in Halo Reach. It wasn't my favorite. It was like one of my first few maps was when I really started forging was in Halo Reach. Because it just felt comfortable. Um, it was a far improvement over Halo 3. Oh, man, I wish it would update the UI system in Halo 3. And just make it so much user friendly because Halo 3's forge system was not user friendly not in any way and the fact that people created such amazing things in Halo 3 it just astounds me because I just I played with it a little bit and got frustrated and said you know this this ain't for me but Halo Reach Halo Reach is when I really started forging and really got into it and really enjoyed doing that uh, <laughs> I hate to say it, I wish I had my original map so I could take it around and show you guys uh, what I did and I thought was really cool at the time, but now I'm thinking back on it and it's just like, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. And my first, <laughs> I I'm going to say it like this, is basically I, I made a capture of the flag map, kind of had like two, two sides, of course, uh, but it was... Uh, up like three sets of stairs and you'd have to go go up all of them to uh, get to the top and grab the flag and go back down and, and get to the other side but I was stupid I was stupid I didn't think about what I did because I put a man cannon just kind of like that that man cannon right there and 
I set it at like right next to the flag and it shot you across the other side of the map. And like it completely broke the map making going down to the bottom completely irrelevant. But other than that, the map was kind of cool, but <laughs> it was so sad. Why did I make it like that? I don't know, but it was like one of my first maps. Uh, so, uh, gotta forgive me a little bit. I wish I could show it to you, but I have since deleted it, and it is definitely gone uh, forever. I, I think I have a screenshot, but it was uh, of a Spartan, more or less, and you got very little sight of it, so... Which, which really kind of sucks, but, but that's really kind of cool, though. I mean, I love the fact that 343 is doing this. They're making us, uh, making MCC something truly amazing. I can't wait for this feature to come. So I am definitely going to be getting online uh, and uploading all the maps I want to keep <laughs> into my file share so that I can get those transferred over to uh, MCC. Because I made a bunch of stuff. Uh, back in the day, I played with uh, mostly just local and friends, but uh, it was still quite fun to play on those maps. And it's always fun to play on something you created. And man, it just makes me really want to get to forging. And that just brings me up to the other subject I kind of wanted to talk about today is just a little bit about Halo Infinite Forge. Oh my goodness. I, Halo 5's Forge, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing amazing uh, the only issue I ever really had with it is just some of the options uh, it's just lacking options especially in game types and game modes um, a lot of people found workarounds to all that they always do but it would just be nice to have some of that stuff set as a default things like hey I want to make a king of the hill map and I don't have to do all this crazy stuff to make a king of the hill map I can just you know make a king of the hill map you know, things like that. Uh, but I'm really hoping that Halo 5, I'm sorry, Halo Infinite's Forge is truly going to take Halo 5's Forge and just step it up. Uh, some of the things I want to see, I'm just throwing this out here, uh, I want to see the ability to change the traits on weapons, uh, specifically, uh, obviously like power settings or uh, ammo count. I mean, you can a little bit. Uh, with reload but things like that and attributes like if a person picks up a shotgun uh, like uh, they would all of a sudden get you know like double over shields or something like that or they go camo or you know something like that you could change the attributes of your weapons uh, so it affects a spartan in some way shape or form uh, or it makes them Give like triple over shields, and after you got triple over shields, you get you get half movement speed. You know, you mean crazy stuff like that. That's the stuff I would love to see, or or set set uh, you know your warthogs or something as king of the hill. You could do that in Halo 4, uh, but you couldn't do it in Halo 5, and and which is really kind of kind of oh there you go, a little revenge. That's what you get for jetpacking, buddy. <laughs> But simple things like that would just be absolutely amazing. Uh, they would increase the amount of creation uh, that we could have uh, in Halo Forge. Uh, I mean, it's incredible as it is now, but just little things. Um, I would also like to see the ability to affect score changes. Um, again, this was something that was in Halo Reach. You could change, like, betrayals. They could give you a point or take away a point which is most common, but uh, you could, if you betrayed somebody, you get two points. You assassinate somebody, you get three points. You could change the, the amount of score you get based on whatever action you get. Um, if you could include things like double kills and triple kills and stuff like that and give you extra bonus points for getting those scores, yeah, that'd be awesome too. More options, more creativity for the Halo Forge community. So I'm just saying... But anyways, that's what my thoughts, guys. Make sure you get online, upload your uh, your maps and game types to your file share so we can get those uh, onto MCC whenever they do do that. All right, thanks for watching. This is Crazed. I'm out of here. <laughs>